Earlier this month, the music world lost several legends. Jimmy Buffett died. Steve Harwell, the lead singer of Smash Mouth, followed soon after. Then, Gary Wright, who wrote the iconic Dreamweaver. That trio struck a chord with some on social media, with many citing the rule of threes. So why do we believe that deaths come in threes? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned how a desire for balance and patterns might drive our thoughts. Why do you think people believe that deaths come in threes? Well, I think bad things come in threes. How's that? Yeah, that's fair. And deaths can be associated with... And deaths with... are associated with bad things. It's a mindset often associated with celebrity deaths. One of the most well-known was in 2009. Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett died on the same day, with Ed McMahon passing the day before. In 2016, Alan Thicke, Carrie Fisher, and George Michael all died within a 10-day span. Pop culture even makes it a storyline. The rule of threes. Celebrities always die in groups of three. You better be careful, Trey. You're right. That's not a real thing. It feels like there's something way back in human history that may have started this whole thing. I think it's natural for people just to look for patterns. Dr. John Hoops would agree. One thing happens by accident, second thing happens by chance. If you see it happening three times, then that establishes a pattern. <laughs> but are those three celebrity deaths actually a pattern? In the U.S. alone, one person will die every 11 seconds. And in that same span of time, 20 people will die worldwide. There's no relationship between these three deaths. There's no reason why they're connected at all. Um, it's, it's, it's random data in which we see a pattern. Finding a pattern in random data is called apophenia. Wait, wait, wait. Such as noticing that the time on a clock is 11-11, but not caring if it was 11-12 when you looked. And part of that is that we also, when, rec when we recognize a pattern, we, we remember the hits and we forget the misses. Seeing patterns in our surroundings is second nature, a survival tactic. That's one of the things that human beings are able to do, um, to recognize uh, predators in the bush, to recognize fruits in the tree. Maybe in the case of deaths, it comes down to the number involved. Three has always been a, a sacred number that we come back to over and over again. What are some other threes that you just notice? Yeah, it's everywhere. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Trinity in the Bible. When you think of a church, you know, you have that center spire and you usually have something symmetric on either side that's lower than the central, just like that church over there. Jeff Wagner. So there are threes all around us if you care to look for them. WCCO News.